Michael Cohen TikTok videos, fundraising stun legal observers, may have torpedoed case against Trump. Michael Cohen, who is supposed to be a star witness in New York v. Trump, might have torpedoed the case before taking the stand by ranting about it on TikTok while fundraising, according to legal observers. It is a major problem for prosecutors. It is not a problem for Cohen's credibility because he has none, he is a convicted perjurer and fraudster whose current defense of his fraud convictions is that he wasn't telling the truth when he pled guilty, former assistant U.S. Attorney Andrew McCarthy told RZ News. ABC News published an article Sunday declaring Cohen's actions could be a problem, pointing out that Cohen has chimed in on former National Enquirer publisher David Pecker's testimony, has regularly railed against Trump, has insisted the jury isn't bored and can profit when followers shower him with gifts. TikTok allows viewers to donate gifts as they watch users' live streams, which can then be converted into money or virtual items, ABC News reported, citing the social media platform's website. Michael Avenatti defends Trump as victim of the system in Hush Money case, says he's being targeted. It's a problem for prosecutors because they chose to build a case on a witness with a track record of bad conduct and deep bias and, not surprisingly, he can't help himself but continue to act in character, McCarthy said. Michael Avenatti, the one-time most dangerous enemy of Donald Trump who liberals hoped would bring down his presidency, believes Cohen might botch the whole case. Michael Cohen through his narcissism and his ego may have just torpedoed the case against Trump, Avenatti told Fox News Digital from federal prison. Never underestimate this guy's ability to screw something up due to his ignorance and arrogance. He's dumber than a box of rocks. The state can't win the case without him and because of his conduct in reviewing trial testimony in violation of the court's order, which just admitted to when speaking with ABC, the court must strike him as a witness, declare a mistrial, or both, Avenatti continued. He had no business commenting on other witnesses' testimony. Avenatti said Cohen is not even supposed to be hearing or learning of that testimony before he testifies himself. Alvin Bragg and his team have a lot of explaining to do in my view, Avenatti said. Cornell Law School professor William A. Jacobson said Cohen's TikTok antics add to a laundry list of pre-existing conflicts. Michael Cohen has many pre-existing conflicts of interest when it comes to Donald Trump, calling into question his objectivity in veracity. Profiting off the trial adds another conflict to that pile. Whether it's the straw that breaks the camel's back when it comes to the jury remains to be seen, but it certainly is fodder for cross-examination, Jacobson told RZ News. Former Georgia prosecutor Chris Timmons said he would be furious with Cohen. As a prosecutor, the last thing you want your witness to do is to be talking about the case in a forum other than the courtroom, Timmons told ABC News. Defense attorney Jeremy Salan, who used to work in the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, told ABC News that Trump's legal team can use Cohen's actions to tear down his credibility. If I'm the prosecution, I'm on the phone right now saying, stop what you are doing, right now, Salan told ABC News. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office did not immediately respond to a request for contact. Cohen told the Disney-owned outlet he would knock it off. I am not the defendant in this criminal matter and am not the subject of Judge Merchant's gag order. Donald is. Nevertheless, I elected, out of respect to the court and the prosecutors, to cease commenting on Trump in this matter, which I have done, Cohen told ABC News. ABC News noted that Cohen fired up his TikTok account, went live with thousands of viewers, and briefly talked about Trump and the trial shortly after saying he wouldn't discuss it.